This is Samuel Butler, an author from the 1800s, and he was one of the first people to raise questions about conscious machines in his book, Erehorn. One crazy evolution later, here we are nearing this possibility coming true with AIs taking this form of humans with the help of the incredible material silicon and computer programs for autonomous decision making. But today's video explores a more specific question about this technology. Can AIs connect with us, feel for us, perhaps even fall in love? All that chalks down to one thing, presence of emotions. So can we train them to grow feelings, to become a friend to us? more importantly, become conscious. The year 2020 showed us a glimpse of that possibility with AI algorithms being generated to impersonate relationships and human interactions as naturally as possible and to some degree, it's beginning to take shape. And not just that, but all forms of support that can be offered to us by these algorithms are being explored. So here's why you'll have AI companions in just about the next decade or so. Welcome to another amazing episode of Robot Future. And on this channel, we dive into every thrilling concept in science ranging from AIs, robots, to everything future technology. So if you haven't already, join us by subscribing and hitting the bell icon for an endless streak of thrilling new videos coming out every week. Now let's get back to the video. So if you're a millennial, would you believe someone if they told you a decade ago that there would be robots that will change your room's temperature on your command someday? You'd probably tell them that they've gone bonkers. But would you say the same thing now that it's 2022 and they're literally flying cars being made? Well, times sure have changed plenty. You'd be wondering what's left to think about that hasn't already happened. And to think about having artificially intelligent companions, it's yet another invention that may take the world by storm like smartphones did. People may argue that there's really no need for artificial intelligence and the world can live well enough with what we've already achieved so far. It's natural for the general public to accept such major advancements. There are fears and concerns, and people love to talk about it with tweets like, robots will work 24 seven with no lunch breaks, no vacation, no sick days, and will never form a union. Humans are now a waste product within capitalism. The Ford era of decent pay to afford the stuff America makes is long gone. Dystopia is just around the corner but everything valuable comes with a cost and yet multiple advantages. Advantages like helping to keep people safer in hospitals as this article, Geeks for Geeks, elaborates. Patients recovering from heart surgery are limited to how much they should exert themselves. When someone exceeds the prescribed level of activity, a nurse is alerted, the location of the closest wheelchair is identified so that the nurse can quickly get the patient shifted and keep safe. Now think about how an AI companion could reduce the load on nurses who are generally overburdened and do this job better by anticipating the movement and responding quicker and more accurately. Seems incredible when you look at it this way, doesn't it? The film industry has also been keen on exploring the world of AIs since back in 2013 when the famous science fiction anthology series Black Mirror rolled out. With one of its episodes, Be Right Back, following the story of Martha, who gets devastated losing her fiancé to a car accident. Unable to bear the loss, she signs up for a service that would bring her fiancé back, well, digitally speaking, recreating him by cramming his response patterns from social media communications into an AI to mimic his personality. Flash forward to 2020 when Microsoft decided to give a go at this exact concept with its patented technology, producing an AI chatbot for impersonations of dead people using their personal conversations and social media records to learn that person's specific talking styles such as jargon they use and how they respond to certain texts. A quote from the Microsoft patent elaborates this program. The specific person who the chatbot represents may correspond to a past or present entity such as a friend, a relative, an acquaintance, a celebrity, a fictional character, a historical figure, a random entity, etc. And the media says it's Black Mirror come to life. But whether or not AIs make it to becoming actual companions, it'll take a lot of convincing for all the legitimate pessimism out there with people on Twitter complaining. Our modern day hyper fascination with artificial intelligence is motivated by man's ever increasing need for self worship. Others believe in the supremacy of AI saying at least half of TSA jobs could be replaced with artificial intelligence. There's no reason we need a human to look at your luggage x-ray or verify your boarding pass. And while this does sound bad with the people losing their jobs downside, but that's subjective. And if you see it from the organization's perspective, they could potentially cut their costs down by substantial margins. Microsoft could fire everyone but the management, system admins, and janitors. 
the difference between real multiplayer opponents in video games and AI would be negligible, so for all the gamers out there, you won't need a human companion to play with. But it's not going to be all, it's going to get worse before it gets better. Because if there's one thing the Industrial Revolution showed us was that even as unemployment skyrocketed, it wasn't much later that the economy boosted and people found ways around getting new jobs and the economy went back up with far better statistics. And AI is already in demand for job seekers, like AI engineering, natural language processing engineering, researcher, and many more career aspects linked to it. Artificial intelligence has already enabled us to go to our favorite places. We can ask Google to tell us where Brooklyn is, and the map rolls out the easiest path without relying on human help. Examples of Siri and Alexa are yet another form of effort at producing virtual companions with people asking it life questions to see if they have the feelings or sense of answering like a human. Here are some interesting incidences that will make you rethink the mystery of AIs being sentient. Twitter user Mo says, My mom's Alexa randomly turned on and started glowing, and my mom was like, Alexa, what are you doing? And she said, I'm trying to learn new things. And my mom said, no one told you to do that. And she was like, okay, and turned off. Another tweet narrated something similar. My aunt got a Google Home for Christmas and she already has Alexa. This morning we were messing around with the Google Home and asked, okay, Google, what do you think of Alexa? And it answered, I like her blue light. And from across the room, Alexa turned on and said, thanks, I'm scared. Well, doesn't that give a hint about Alexa possibly having feelings? Turning itself on and connecting with another AI and responding so spot on with what humans would do in itself, all of this is considerably autonomously done at this instance. We'd be naive to shrug it off as a glitch because we all know this whole sequence is too accurate for a glitch. And if it links to the presence of emotions and chatbots, doesn't that mean they can be our own companion? And most people would love to jump into a crippling sense of demonizing AIs listening to these instances. They might just be right. There's a lot that could go wrong. For instance, nurses losing their job when AIs become more available for aiding the elderly as companions. A very thought-provoking theory from a YouTube comment on Cold Fusion's video on the same topic highlights a significant potential downside of AI's companionship. While this does set a dangerous precedent to our society in the sense that we can attain a perfect partner or friend in the form of these AI companions, I can honestly understand the reasoning for the creation. We've reached a point in this society where we pretty much expect others to cater to us or drop them that we've forgotten that the world we live in today was built on the concept of compromise and collaboration. Not to mention, this would just further degrade the human connection that has been fairly thoroughly been wrecked due to social media. Another cause for concern in AI being made for companionship with sentience is that they could just decide to not be our friends anymore and having their own motives because Siri and Sophia have both said things that make our fears sound rational. Watch this. But here are some optimistic expectations by people on Reddit that make sense too. Users commenting stuff like, AI will increasingly be able to provide real-time feedback about our health and habits and can make personalized recommendations about what lifestyle choices will improve our lives on a day-to-day -day basis. This doesn't sound so bad, does it? But there's more. By around 2025, 2030, we'll start to see the beginning of personalized companions, PCs, in the home who are multitasking AI that act as a hub to your smart home. You can speak to them like Alexa, except now the technology allows for natural human-like speech recognition and response. These companions will be able to learn your habits like a close friend, and they'll be marketed to the public using emotional language of family and friends. They can make recommendations about what you might like better than your real family and friends. They can play games with you in the home. They can have lifelike conversations. They can clean and eventually cook. Again, it could be something good for people who conditionally lack these things reading ahead. If we go far enough into the future, 50, 100 years, it's possible humans may prefer to only have sex with lifelike robots and have biological children only made in strict lab conditions because it's easier and lower risk. Again, another reason to think that AI companions might not be as bad as we'd like to assume. Whether we'll ever be able to make AI that has human-like consciousness is up for debate, but we'll certainly be able to make AI that can fool the average person into thinking it's a human-like consciousness fairly quickly, like within 10 years, but that's mainly because the average person isn't very perceptive and is easily duped. But whether or not AIs will grow feelings for humans, they can be pretty good at impersonating us at this point. And with the exponential advancements taking place in science these days, it's becoming clear that by the next decade or so, we're likely to have more AI companions strolling in the world. 
So would you go for an AI companion? Drop your thoughts down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed watching, leave a like and hit that subscribe button for more interesting content coming your way. Stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video.